Hi everyone, in this video we'll be creating another model into 3D via Fusion 360. So here I have a 2D drawing which I forgot where I was able to acquire this. Anyways, let's get started. I am going to position our origin obviously in the key slot. So it's a circle. The shortcut for a circle, once again, is letter C. For the plane, I'm going to select our... I'm going to turn on this one. Just so you know, this is XZ. Selecting XZ for our center point. Selecting our origin. I'm going to pan holding my middle mouse. And the value for this one is a radius at 24. I'm going to key in a value of 24. It's a radius, so I can multiply this to 2. Asterisk 2. And hit enter. And enter once more. Going back to our browser, I'm going to, I'm going to turn off our light bulb to hide our origins let's apply the rectangle now the shortcut for rectangle again is letter R pressing R I'm gonna zoom in left click here and left click here to make our rectangle the shortcut for dimension is letter D pressing letter D selecting the stop line the bottom, place it here, keying in 20, hitting escape. Now we'd like the midpoint of our vertical line to be aligned horizontally to our origin. We can do that by going to constraints, horizontal, vertical, left click, moving in. To our vertical line and selecting our midpoint and selecting our origin so now they are aligned I'm gonna hit escape now we're going to trim these entities the shortcut for trim is letter T I'm gonna hold my left mouse button to paint hit escape a quick tip and a very good practice is to always select your entities and try to move it to see, to check if it's all fully constrained. So definitely this one, it moved. We need to lock this horizontally. Now to lock this is the dimension which is 34. Again, pressing letter D. When choosing items, whenever it turns into white, that is the moment that you can perform a left click. So now this is a this is highlighted in white. Left click, zooming in, left click this line, and drop my dimension here. Key in 34, press enter. I'm gonna hit escape gonna zoom in and move our dimension to have a clearer view double click my middle mouse the zoom extends zoom out once more we have another concentric circle outside with a radius of 60 pressing letter C dropping our center point in the origin I'm gonna drop this one now Hit escape, press dimension, left click, and then perform a right click. And the 2D drawing, it's radius. So in order for us to view it as a radial dimension, what we did a while ago was perform a right click, and now I'm going to select radius. Keying in 60. Zooming out. Hitting escape. 
now I am seeing an angle which is 134 zooming out grabbing our line selecting our origin moving up to the right I'm gonna key in 150 press enter again pressing letter L first point at the origin and I will not enter a specific value for now so left click and hit escape grabbing our dimension letter D selecting this line moving to the left selecting this line going up dropping this here keying in 134 pressing enter I'm gonna hit escape so both of these lines are construction I'm gonna left click now the shortcut for this one is letter X going to the other line left click and then right click go down select normal construction I'm gonna move 150 down and 34 and 20 going up we have two circles which are concentric pressing letter C center point here the tool is still active center point here moving out hit escape press letter D the radius of our inner circle is 15 drop it here so the diameter would be 30 Dimension tool is still active, selecting our second circle. Drop it here. The radius is 37.5. 37.5, multiply to 2 and pressing enter. Hit escape. Let's create a tangent line here. Letter L dropping our line at the circumference of the circle and here as well selecting this one and placing our point here left click so now it coincides as we are given coincident constraints now let's apply a tangent constraint another technique I can go to sketch palette and constraints scroll down and select tangent there's another option in which I can left click this one control and left click this one then right click and it will automatically give me a suggestion for constraints so definitely it's tangent again left click this one control left click right click tangent going here left click control right click and tangent I am unsure of this one but for now I'm gonna place a tangent constraint too right click and tangent next let's apply the lines here pressing letter L dropping my first point here left click here escape press letter L again dropping on the circumference left click here and hit escape So notice there's a vertical line 18.81. I'm going to zoom in, create a line, K 
key in 18.81 press enter left click so my line tool is still active I can press and hold my left mouse button to create an arc I'm gonna do that now so notice I am still holding my left mouse button and now I'm gonna release drop my second endpoint here and connect it to this endpoint left click so now we have a profile I'm gonna press escape this one is this one should be vertical left click and right click to make it horizontal or better yet vertical I want this one this line to be collinear here going to constraints selecting collinear now it is selected going to our lines and selecting them both I'm gonna hit escape the radial dimension for this one is 22.5 I'm gonna press letter D selecting our arc moving here keying in 22.5 and pressing enter I'm gonna hit escape don't worry we can always resize this one zooming out notice that we have a 232.5 dimension I'm going to press letter D. Recently I have selected this line so now our my dimension tool is anchored here. Pressing escape. Left click outside to deselect. Pressing letter D once more. Zooming in. Selecting this line. Moving to our center point. Left click go down place this in the middle key in 332.5 another one is this line left click drop this here key in 37.5 I'm gonna hit escape you may be tempted to apply a horizontal constraint here but there's no need because we have we already have a perpendicular constraint and this one is vertically constrained so definitely this one is already horizontal double click my middle mouse to zoom extends inspecting if we have forgotten or left something let's select this line I'm gonna select this line trying to move them so this one it moved the solution for this one is I'm going to align this the center point of our arc with this horizontal line I can do that by going to coincident selecting this point and this line I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna try to move this one again so notice this line expands and contracts because it is not yet equal with this one so definitely this one is equal here as well now going to sketch palette constraints and selecting equal selecting our parent and the one who will follow left click and both of them are now the same I'm gonna hit escape 
Again, trying to move. Checking if it's already fully constrained. Moving down, we forgot to place another tangent constraint here. So I'm going to select this line. I'm going to hit Control, left click this circle, right click, and hit Tangent. So we're all set and ready to perform extrusion. So the door is now open for us to play with as we are not given any dimension or value for height of extrusion. I'm going to go now to stop sketch or better yet press letter E as a shortcut for extrusion. E. Shift and hold my middle mouse to rotate. For our first profile, I'm going to select this one. Shift middle mouse to rotate. Go to direction, make it symmetric. Drag this line. Let's key in a value of 60. And hit OK. So the sketch was consumed. We can turn that on again by selecting our bulb again pressing letter E to extrude selecting this profile I'm gonna go to direction symmetric I'm gonna key in a value here or here 40 hit OK And finally, let's make this as a one an operation. Pressing letter E, selecting this one, this one. Zooming in, left clicking this one as well. Going to direction, symmetric. The operation would be, let's make this join. Dragging this one. And key in a value of 10. And hit OK. Going to our browser and turning off our bulb. So ladies and gentlemen, practice makes perfect. And I'll be seeing you on the next Fusion 360 video. Thanks for watching.